Hi everyone, this is your host TCW. In this video, I'd like to show you my personal workflow on how to use chord tracks to control very audio parts and how to do this by creating harmony voices. In the second step, we'll see how to use track versions with chord tracks to easily switch back and forth between some variations of chord progressions and how to use MIDI data as a visual reference to fix things that do not sound as expected. Well, let me show you my uh, Cubase project I prepared. Right here I've got an instrument track with some MIDI data on it. It sounds like this. As you might have noticed, it's the first two bars of the traditional nursery song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and that's our melody line we want to harmonize in this example. Right up here I've got a chord track and an instrument track right below to monitor the chord track. And if I play this... You hear it's Quite, fits quite nicely. It's a 1141 progression. And right down on track 5, we've, I've got an audio part prepared. And not being the world's, the world's most sophisticated singer, I applied some very audio enhancement before. And let's take a listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. It should work quite nicely, and now it's time to generate harmony voices. To do that, just select the audio part you want to use as a source, come up to the audio menu, and come up to generate harmony voices, just click it. Now in the dialog you are able to determine the number of voices and the uh, strength of the vibrato reduction, let's leave it like it is. Click on OK. And now you see Cubase has generated four audio tracks with some audio on it. I'll switch off the melody and the chord track. And now let's listen what Cubase generated. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Well, the first part sounds quite nicely, but the two last beats sound a little off, as if the uh, chord is not switched back to the 1 and remains on the 4. So my way to check this is opening, opening the editor. Now you see the four parts I selected, and I find it helpful to use a uh, MIDI reference track. As you see, I selected MIDI 01. MIDI 01 is empty now. And if I drag down the chord events, you see these uh, thin lines represent the MIDI data, and the thick lines represent the audio voices. And as we see here, we've got a deviation. The uh, audio and the MIDI does not match here. And to correct this, in this case, I just cut the uh, remaining part. And now you see the audio snaps to the MIDI. And if we take a listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Well, that sounds as expected. Let me switch or better route the uh, audio tracks to a group track where I've got some EQ settings and reverb on it. Now it sounds a little bit more elegant. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So far so good. Now we are able to check out our uh, track versions right over here. I've got an uh, extended one, which is this one. Here we just, well, I just replaced the F major with an A minor 7th. Uh, let's take a listen. 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sounds quite nicely. Check the uh, editor window. You see it has some uh, mismatch over here. I just have to update my MIDI data. Just drag down the uh, chord events with the uh, pro with the respected uh, track version. Now we see the voices follow exactly, and that's what we also heard. Now it's time to check the uh, advanced version where we have many chord changes. And you see the uh, the voices have changed, have changed, but the uh, MIDI data have to be updated again. So let me just drag it down and go back to the editor. Now you see it almost fits, but here we've got some uh, events that have to be corrected now. I just pushed them back a little bit. The timing was a little bit too early. And if we listen to it now... Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You see, it's quite a lot of uh, harmonic movement in there. My favorite, is, my favorite version is this one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So let me know if you want to get the next two bars of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to another video on this channel.